wasn't a problem. Bugger. Welcome back to the garage. Um, the inner wing video went out yesterday and I've had a couple of messages back um, on social media and stuff saying, wow, great, what's taking you so long? I thought you'd have it done in metal by now. I've had a, a small delay. Um, I took on another project and if you've been following me on Instagram and the like, you may well have seen me mention um, doing a gearbox for Winnie the Mini. Everything is contained. And then the last one, there she blows. So um, it's now assembled, it's all done, it's bolted back together. The only thing that's not fitted obviously is this because it goes in at the end, um, once the engine's in. But what I've done here, um, gearbox came to me in, um, we can call it a sorry state. It had been, from what I can tell, probably abused quite heavily, um, then left for a number of years, and then sludge had settled in the bottom of the engine. Now, it ha had been running, the engine seemed to be okay, but the engine is in just as poor a condition, so it does kind of tally. Um, but when I stripped the gear, I was tasked with just strip down, rebuild the gearbox, just replace what it needs, and it needed everything, literally everything. Um, I've got a little stash here of parts that came out of it. Now, this was the lay shaft. Now, as you can see, this had sat for some time possibly with water on it and the main shaft I have tried my hardest to clean up but the pitting in the uh, where the bearings run for second and third was beyond what I was willing to risk and it's the same on the uh, I think you'll focus it's the same on the nose up here it's um, I tried to clean it up as best I could but it's yeah I, that's horrendous pitting if you can feel it in your nails it's not good but it was an incredibly original gearbox. I mean, the bearings, as you can see, the whole thing was in a real sorry state. This is a pre-A plus gearbox. Um, other things that were knackered, the uh, synchro cone, sorry, what do you want to call it? The synchro hub, the second gear, all the teeth are smashed. The first gear has also seen some abuse. I mean, the whole thing, it's, it's, in, a, it's in a very sorry state. Um, now, as you can imagine, getting hold of pre-A plus gears is a bit tricky. So um, I've got a stash of many, many, many dismantled gearbox parts I've gathered over the years. Partly from gearboxes I've wrecked, partly from ones I've just got stripped, taken apart, kept the casings. You never know when you're going to need something. So what I've done in here, this is the gear set from a uh, SPI Cooper. Um, it's slightly different. The uh, sizes of these gears here are slightly different. I believe the ratios work out largely the same, but it'll work out a bit nice for the 998 that this is going on. Um, so the A-plus gear set will fit in here with one addition. You've got to be careful which parts you order, but the only modification you've got to make to the um, casing is here. You have to use an A-plus thrust washer this side and you have to modify the hole that it goes in um, mainly because there's a step that gets stuck on the casing this is a 3a plus lay shaft and this is the a plus lay shaft you get two bearings sitting there on the pre a plus and only one bearing here on the a plus and the difference is here you still get only a single bearing down this end um, and it's a smaller diameter on the Pre-A Plus than this bigger diameter here. So that diameter is the same. For the A Plus, it steps up to a slightly larger diameter. Now, the casing on an A Plus is only supported here. The casing on a Pre-A Plus carries on all the way out to here, so it fouls this step. So you just need to, well, I used to file to be fair. You can use anything, just cut away the case, just open up the very opening edge of this hole here so that the A plus lay shaft will fit in. And then you just have to make sure you use a hole 
A plus gear set. The difference between an A plus gear set and a pre A plus is the size of that hold there, mainly. Because on the A plus you run a big bearing here. On the pre A plus, you put them side by side. You run a small one. That's a 14 mil. I think that's an 18 or a 19. I can't remember which it is. This nose of the bearing goes in a lot deeper into the gear um, and it's a different diameter. So that is the difference. Otherwise than that, they are identical. You can interchange, I believe, these ratios and first gear. Um, and even the synchro hubs, I believe, are the same because it's a four synchro box. The difference is the uh, first motion gear because this has the bigger diameter for the bigger gear and the one that came off the car has, you can't really see it in there, but a smaller diameter bearing hole for the smaller gear. But yeah, that's what I've been up to otherwise. Um, we're all done with this now, barring waiting for this um, shim to arrive. So I've everything's fitted up, I've bolted up, I've talked it up and I've measured the gap and I needed a slightly thinner thrust washer so that's being ordered by the uh, by the owner and um, this will be heading off in the uh, very near future so uh, yeah just a quick update on what I've been up to um, I am now full steam ahead cracking on with my horrendous inner wing project um, and I want to get the engine built in the next couple of weeks so I can get that in the car um, so I need to get the subframe done so I mean literally I've kind of just got a hit everything at a thousand miles an hour and hope for the best. So yep, quick update and fingers crossed, I will see you in a week, maybe two. See you on the next one.